Gateway for Arm Recognition Editorial Team at Expo Defensa 2019, the International Defense and Security Exhibition in Bogota, Colombia. This is a real three services defense exhibition. Colombia is on the process to modernize its armed forces, including the Navy, the land, and the air. For example, the Air Force is on the process to replace the Kafir with a new fighter aircraft, and also the Marine is on the process to replace frigates and submarines. I am Captain Retired Carlos Eduardo Gil. I am the Science of Technology Manager of Cotegmar. Cotegmar is a company that is part of the uh, Ministry of Defense uh, brand that is social support of the country. And we are a company focused to develop the science and technology sector of the naval forces in Colombia. Our focus is to provide the Colombian Navy to uh, adjust platforms for her, her needs and to support the industry in the development of the country in the naval matters. We are part of the supporting team that are analyzing the options for the replacement of the Padilla class frigates. And in the future, we are looking to uh, participate in the update of the Colombian submarines as part of the uh, uh, operational life extension program. Our main uh, chip building uh, project in the future is our own design OPB-93 uh, ship that is the model you can see here. Yeah, that is uh, uh, founded in the experience that we uh, achieved after three uh, OPB-80 uh, German design uh, ship that we built for the Colombian Navy. That's the uh, OPB-80, yes, one of those ships uh, was deployed to Antarctica, the other was deployed in the OTAN uh, operation in Africa, and is, there are uh, very flexible ships. We also uh, built a coastal patrol vessel for the Colombian Navy and six landing craft units that are used for uh, humanitarian support for the far region of the country, especially in the uh, Pacific coast. The idea of, of this ship is uh, a 93 meters long, uh, 2,500 tons of displacement. And uh, the idea is to have a very flexible platform that support a uh, counter dogs and uh, illegal activity in the uh, Colombian uh, economic zone. There are, uh, the idea is to uh, present this model to the Colombian Navy and have poor version for uh, the region. This is uh, a design 100% Colombian, it's cutting mar design. This is the uh, landing craft unit, it's also a uh, design 100% from cutting mar. We sell five ships of these to the Colombian Navy and two for two countries in the region, one for Honduras and the other for Guatemala. This is a very flexible platform that has the capability to, uh, to take humanitarian support from cities to the farthest coast in the Colombian littoral, in the, in the Pacific and in the Caribbean coast. My name is Michiel van Ginkel. I'm, uh, I'm a retired naval officer working for Dame and doing uh, the naval sail support in the Americas. So heading from Canada up to Cabo Horna to Chile. From my personal perspective, I'm, uh, I'm helping the company in, uh, in doing the sales businesses in Latin America for everything which is related to Coast Guard of Navies. And uh, so th this is my region where I operate. And uh, as you can see over here, uh, we, uh, we have a lot of ships in the region. They are mainly, by the way, uh, all local built. Some are used ships from the Royal Netherlands Navy, which we constructed in the past. There are two frigates sailing in, uh, in Chile from the M-Class. There are two frigates from the L-Class sailing. The ex-Amsterdam is sailing now in, uh, in Peru. It's called the Tacna, uh, a fast combat uh, re replenishment ship. And we do a lot of local construction. Uh, we have a, lo a lot of partnerships with uh, local shipyards. Where we, uh, where we build our ship uh, local. We have the whole variety, we, we call ourselves sometimes wherever is water, you will find dames. So it goes from workboats, but this is naval, this is a naval exhibition. 
So you see here more uh, things related to Coast Guard and to navies. Maritime security. We have the whole spectrum of inshore patrol vessels, river patrol vessels, uh, Coast Guard vessels, up till uh, the high-end uh, naval combatants. Yeah, we are very happy. Last uh, last Monday at the opening day of the exhibition, we signed a contract with Kotak Mar for the construction of a hydrographic vessel, which will be uh, constructed at Kotak Mar itself. So, Echo and Colombia, as they say here locally. And we are also offering, uh, since now already four or five years, for the PES program, Patriero Estrategica de Supervisie. And that's a program for four frigates. And we proposed actually what we did already proposed, and which is sailing and operational already in Indonesia. And, uh, as, and the same what we proposed in, in Mexico, which is actually in the third uh, uh, sea trial uh, weeks uh, right now, as, as we speak, uh, the Sigma 10514. But uh, these were based on the RFIs of uh, uh, two years ago. And uh, things can change, so we have to wait for uh, the announcement of the new RFI of Colombia, what it will be. But we will respond probably with a, almost sure, with a Sigma design. I am Gabriel Vasquez. I am a general manager for Partners to Grow in Colombia. We have based here in Colombia in Bucaramanga. It's a city very close to Bogota, and uh, we work in general in the in all the country. We normally work for uh, with drones. We are uh, certified by authority aeronautical authority in Colombia to uh, use and operate drones. That's why we go in uh, one important industry that is uh, the anti-drones drones or counter-drones uh, to, to, to prevent uh, threats uh, regarding with drones. The, the, the drones now are very good tool for all industries, for uh, uh, military, for civil, and for industrial industry. But as well, we have threats that is uh, coming with drones. Then uh, in those threats needs to be uh, that needs to be controlled by systems like uh, uh, fixed, transportable or portable systems. In this case, we are having different systems. This is a, a fixed system to protect uh, stadiums or civilians, uh, critical assets or critical industrial uh, places. And as well, in when the people is moving. Uh, they need to protect uh, with a portable system. How it works? Normally, uh, anti-drone system works having detection, uh, identification, neutralization, or uh, elimination as well. Then, uh, with this box here, we call detection system. This detection system can detect uh, any drone uh, away in a, in a commercial or industrial drone. With this system, we have we can operate automatically or manually. How it works? This detect the signal in the in the in its in the space and transmit to the box and it transmit to the person by vibrations, light, or by a, a sound. Then uh, does uh, bring the opportunity in case of the people is in is in a nosy place to detect any time. Once it's detected in these uh, five kilometers, then it connects with a jamming system. The jamming system operates one kilometer away and uh, in the same way, manually or automatically. Uh, how it operates? It operates over the drone or which is controlled by control or by GPS. Then in one of those cases, if uh, this jam the drone, they can send the signal to inter create interference and move the drone down uh, far uh, when the drone is, or if it's by GPS, send the drone to back to home where it uh, 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 land, uh, to land when they take off. The original place, thank you.
My name is uh, David Pascual and uh, I come from the company Jomipsa. Uh, we are based in, uh, in Spain and we've been manufacturing ration packs and military food for the last 35 years. Basically what we do is a tailor-made product and we're talking about food. It's, it's not, it's, a difference from the rest of the product maybe that you can find in this in this show currently 80 percent of our production is halal something like three years ago we started working with uh, countries like chile and peru we have distribution there and we attended uh, another uh, military uh, show which is called fidae in chile and uh, that's where we found some distributors including the colombian one which we're working with them right now and that's why we came to Expo Defensa and well, that's why we're here. In fact, what we try to make here is uh, categorize the sort of products, the, the kind of products that we are manufacturing for our clients. Okay, So we, our products can range from one single meal, okay, which is what it says, one single meal. Then we would move to a 12 hour a uh, ration pack which contains breakfast and uh, lunch or uh, an afternoon light meal and uh, uh, dinner and which is this is our best seller which is a 24 hour ration pack this is the most common uh, ration pack this is the most common format in all uh, in all armies okay so this is one way of heating up your food and this is the i would say the new uh, the, the trend the, all the military food is going is going this way okay, okay. This is a chemical heater, okay, so you open this bag, add some water, put this inside and after 10 minutes the, your food is hot. How? Well, by mixing water with these uh, chemical salts based on magnesium or aluminium. So after 10 minutes there is a heat reaction and it heats up the product inside. What we've seen in this market is that uh, anybody can manufacture. You can go to a supermarket, as we said, and you can uh, adapt whatever is inside. But uh, few companies do what we do. Total personalization, total uh, adapt to the taste of, uh, of the country, and product development. I mean, if, uh, if uh, an army comes to us and they say, we don't want uh, lemon and lime energy gel, we need uh, black currant. We would, do, we would do that. So we're a pretty flexible uh, company in terms of development of products and we develop products and we manufacture tailor-made products and personalized products. Hi, my name is Mike Pizarro. I'm the general manager of Mill Group. It's an American Colombian company, and our main job right now is to show the Colombian Armed Forces a new capability. It's a defense capability based on electronic decoy targets. Their main objective is to provide a thermal signal, an electronic sig signal, radar signal, and also an infrared signal to enemy reconnaissance drones, helicopters, aircraft, and satellites. So they can provide the presence of hundreds of helicopters, tanks, bases, and uh, military installations who are actually not there. The fabric, it's so special. They have copper for threat. Uh, they also have a multi-directional or multi-source uh, type of signal material that can provide that image that is radar because the paint has a little bit of an aluminum, so it reflects radar. It also reflects a thermal because of the blow air, the, bl the air that we're blowing is hot, so it provides a complete thermal signal. And finally, the material provides, because of the difference in light, an infrared signal that qualifies from up to 100 meters to four kilometers, a complete realistic decoy target. The idea is very simple. An aggressor, they have a very limited amount of intelligent missiles. An intelligent missile has a cost of 250 up to $300,000 per missile. These models, we can build up to 100 helicopters for less than four and a half million dollars. So the objective at the end of the day is to deplete the enemy aggressor air force or the enemy aggressor, aggressor ground force, deplete them of their ammunition very quickly. It's extremely easy. It deploys in less than 12 minutes and undeploy or we can reposition in less than eight minutes.